Welcome. For this list I have selected only the worst left-wing leaders in Kaiser Reichlor. I have went beyond the mainstream and included evil cucks from around the globe in this video. There is no top 5 list on the planet which everyone agrees with but I hope you enjoy it. Please comment down below and subscribe if you really like this. The Sorlians are a French totalist party led by Georges Valois. Their ideology comes from Georges Sorel, a French political theorist and journalist who in real life embraced both ends of the political spectrum, as many former syndicalists welcome the emerging fascism. Basically they are typical Mosley-style authoritarian totalists. However what makes them bad is their extreme revanchism and the wish to destroy Germany by dedicating France's resources for war. After coming to power they also purge all of the Jacobins, syndicalists and anarchists in France to cement their total control. Severino de Giovanni is an Italian origin radical anarchist leader of Argentina. He wishes to sweep away whatever remains of the old Argentina by destroying religion and nationalism completely. His comrade Miguel Rosanya advocates for expropriative anarchism which makes it fair to rob and lynch the rich and the landowners to redistribute wealth to the poor, a twisted version of Robin Hood. These anarchists also deal extremely harshly with churches and the clergy when they come to power and of course they purge all their political enemies. Foster is an authoritarian syndicalist American leader. He's got radical views on reshaping American society into his vision of syndicalist utopia. This plan entails making massive changes to society like collectivization of all farms and purging all enemies, even the socialists who oppose his views. One of his most evil plans is to take children away from their parents and raise them communally, ostensibly to free parents to focus on work but also to indoctrinate a new generation of diehards. Additionally his radical reshaping of society and economy after an already devastating second American civil war is sure to ruin America long term. Cuban totalist leader Julio Mele is one of the worst characters in Kaiser Reich. In 1936 Mele is in exile. If Cuba falls to the socialist revolution then the socialists leaders invite him to the Congress where he betrays them all by holding them at gunpoint and just launching an armed coup. After thus taking over power, he murders and executes all rival and friendly political elements in Cuba so thoroughly that when he is assassinated in the late game, there are not even any other totalist leaders remaining to succeed him. Thus his wife Tina Madetti takes over power. She announces a massive revenge campaign against her husband's murderers and dedicates the nation's resources to execute thousands more just for that. Sigh. Devil husband and witch wife. Benito Mussolini is the totalist leader for Italy. Apart from being a purge-happy extreme authoritarian nationalist totalist, there's also another reason for him being number one. After conquering Italy, he launches a cultural revolution to cleanse Italy of its supposed bourgeois past very similar to our timeline Mao. He achieves this by adopting futurism in architecture, defacing monuments, reducing the importance of Italian history, banning various Italian cultural nuances and fucking banning pasta and pizza for reducing passion and increasing lethargy.